As Matt mentioned, the octopus born this week in California are doing very well. The hospital won't identify the mother, but some surprising details are now emerging. Here's NBC's Michael Oku. While the mother continues to recover at the hospital with her octuplets, NBC News has confirmed that she already has six other children living at home with her and her parents. That revelation is making some fertility experts question the mother's choice to carry a multiple pregnancy. There are certain guidelines that we and many people like us use that limit the number of embryos that are transferred. It is not known who the baby's father is or where he may be, but the octuplet's grandmother says the baby's mother used in vitro fertilization to get pregnant. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, the grandmother said what should she have done? She refused to have them killed. That is a very painful thing. Our patient was counseled regarding her options for the pregnancy. The options were to continue the pregnancy or to selectively abort. The patient chose to continue the pregnancy. The Doctors at Kaiser Permanente pointedly avoided the ethical debate daughter. surrounding the births, but they were happy to answer medical questions about the mother and her octuplets. She has been walking about and has a, been able to visit her eight newborns in the in neonatal intensive care unit um, on several occasions. Michael Oku, NBC News, Los Angeles.